Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, I am by myself cooking today. Dylan is off, so I got to do the TGIF fish segment of the week by myself. But y'all followed my video a couple of days ago. You know, I stopped at the farmer's market, and I already told y'all what I was going to do today. We're going to have some fried tilapia. Speaking of tilapia, my mama loves tilapia. We didn't grow up eating tilapia. We didn't have tilapia growing up. But somehow throughout the years, I guess she was in the hospital or somewhere, and she tasted it maybe about 10, 12 years ago. She absolutely loves it. When she used to live by herself at home, she used to ask me to bring, I used to bring her 10 pound boxes, and you know it come in individual wrap fillets, and she would take it out and bake it. Sometimes she would fry it, and she needed it. She absolutely loves tilapia, y'all. She loves it. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna do some fried tilapia today and some cheesy, creamy, Yellowstone grits. This, if you haven't had yellow, real yellow stone grits, takes a little bit too long to cook. Take about a half hour to cook them. But oh my God, I cook mine in milk, butter, the grits. Then I'm gonna fold in some cheese, cheddar cheese. It is absolutely amazing. And when you eat it with shrimp or fish, it is an absolutely connection. So what I'm gonna do first, y'all, I'm gonna do the grits first. But they're going to take longer, and then I'm going to set up my fry, and then we're going to fry the fish out. Y'all saw this uh, fish fry? I'm going to try this here. I got ye uh, the, yesterday, matter of fact, at the uh, farmer's market. So I'm going to try this. already seasoned and everything. Gulf Crow's fish fry. So I'm going to try that with my tilapia put in the fryer. So we're going to have an awesome TGIF fish segment of the week. So I'll be right back, y'all. I'm going to get my... Uh, uh, I'm going to put my fish away in the fridge so it can stay cool while I'm uh, cooking the grits because it's going to take a half an hour to do the grits. And then we're going to cook the grits off. We're going to have them set to the side. I'm going to get my fryer set up. And we're going to have a good deal. So we'll be right back. TGIF, fifth segment of the week. Just getting started. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, let's get these grits going. Now, y'all know cooking rice, I have a ratio. and I got the same ratio of grits. No fail, especially when you're cooking these yellow grits. as a ratio. Rice is two to one. Y'all remember that. Rice is two to one. Two parts liquid to one part rice. Grits, we go to the next level. We're going to do three to one. Sometimes I do three and a half to one, but minimum three to one, meaning three parts liquid, one part grits. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one cup of grits and how much milk I'm going to put, y'all. Y'all playing along at home and y'all sleep. I'm going to do one cup of yellow grits. So how much milk I need? If I know one cup of yellow grits, how much milk I'm going to need? Come on. Come on, y'all. The first in the back, y'all sleep. Yes, that's right. Three cups of milk. And I'm going to put a little butter in here, too. Let's move over here to the pot. I'm so excited. Y'all can tell I'm excited for this one. I love yellow grits. I didn't grow up on them, but I acquired a taste of them after I started cooking in the industry. You know, we used to have them old quick Quaker Oats grits cut, take five minutes to cook. Uh -huh. These good, cause you just totally just getting all that milk and stuff uh, incorporated in them. It's amazing. So I got one cup of grits there. Then we're gonna do three cups of whole milk. I'm doing whole milk, y'all. You can use half and half too. You're gonna take it to the next level. Of course, you can use water, but uh, now now you're supposed to use water most of the time, y'all. And let me give you a little warning. If you're using milk, you really gonna have to watch it. After you get to a certain level of cooking and doing getting thick, because it will scorch on you if you don't, if you number one, if you're not watching, number two, if you use them cheap pots, I tell you, don't be using and you don't have those. I'm putting some butter in there too, don't judge me. Uh, if you use them cheap pots that I tell you don't buy, you just gonna burn them. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. Get my wooden spoon here, and we're gonna stir these grits, y'all. Now, it's going to take a while for them to cook. Like I said, it's going to take about a half an hour. Bring it up to a boil, and then you need to stir this stuff at least every five minutes. Do not let it burn on you. If no, you just got to throw it. Ain't no way of fixing. When you scorch something that has milk in it, ain't no fixing it. You just throw it in the trash and start over. So, anyway, y'all, I'm going to let this come up to a boil, start boiling. And once the process get going, I'm going to show you what they're looking like. I'm going to show you, like, halfway through the process what's going on because i'm telling y'all this is amazing 
you know, I got the milk in here, the butter. It's going to be so creamy. And right at the end, when they're done, I'm going to season it with salt and pepper and, and fold in some cheddar cheese. Oh, my God, y'all. You, I'm telling you, you never taste nothing like this. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Look at this, y'all. We halfway through the cooking process, and look what we got here. Now, turn it down a little. Now, this is where you got to be careful, too, because these grits, y'all already know, will pop on you. So you turn it down. You can cover it if you really don't want to pop on you, you know, but that's grits is grits. And look how creamy these are. And like I say, you can use water, but if you want a nice creamy grits, put you some milk and butter in there, y'all. See how it's popping on me? I'm tough. I'm tougher than they are. I got to turn down a little. And what you can do if you want to stir it, you can remove it from the fire and then put it back on there. But you can cover it up as it's cooking, y'all. But the thing is, you need to, you definitely need to stir it every five minutes. See that? But it's going to get thicker and creamier. And right when it's done, y'all, I'm going to put some cheese in there and some salt and pepper. And oh my God, y'all, let it sit right here while I got my, I got my fry heating up here on my, to my right. I'm telling y'all, it don't get no better than creamy. And like I said, you can do shrimp and grits. But you got some fried catfish and some fried tilapia and grits, it's on. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Y'all, look at this goodness here, y'all. Look at this goodness. Look at that. Nice, creamy grits. Look at that. It's been all. It's been about 32 minutes I've been sitting here staring this off and on. Now, let's take it to the next level, y'all. We're going to put some uh, cheddar cheese in here. You'll say you can't have cheesy grits without the cheese, right? We're going to put some cheese in here. Fold that in here. I got the fire down low. Get that fully incorporated in there. Cheesy, creamy. Man, I'm telling y'all. Look at that, y'all. You want to make sure your cheese get completely melted in there, y'all. Completely melted in there. I'm telling y'all. You can eat this with some shrimp. Like I said, I'm eating it with some fish. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to check my seasoning because you know cheese has a little salt in it. Because I know I'm going to need some. And I got this turned on. I just turn it off, y'all, because it's ready. Mm -hmm. Now, put a little salt and pepper in here. We're going to cover this up, y'all. Just let it hang out there until my fish gets ready. I'm going to come back here in a second. We're going to get our fish ready. But I'm going to taste it one more time. Make sure I'm got it seasoned good. And this Dylan going to be upset he not at this one today. But, oh, we got some good videos coming up, y'all, next two or three days. So y'all need to stay tuned. It's going to be on and cooking the next couple of days. Okay, let me check this out. Oh my God, that's it, y'all. Mm. Look at that nice, creamy goodness grits. Nice, cheesy, creamy with that milk, butter, cheese. I'm telling y'all, this way it's all about right here. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to just cover this up and let this hang out here, y'all. I'm going to just let this hang out right here. Scrape this off the side. Get it all cleaned up in there good. Scrape the bottom there. Make sure everything fully incorporated. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to put the lid on here, y'all. Cover that up. Put the lid on there. Let it hang out there. I'll be right back here, y'all, in about five minutes. It'll be one second of YouTube time. And we're going to get our uh, fish going. Got my fry heat. Look at that. Got my fry heating up there. So we're about to fry up some tilapia, y'all. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I done got spoiled having a camera, man. I got to run the camera again myself some days. Okay, y'all. We got my deep fry heating up. It's already hot. 350. My coating here, I told y'all I bought from the farmer's market. We're going to open this thing up. I'm going to throw it in my Ziploc bag today. I'm going to be fancy, y'all. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag. We being fancy. 
So I'll pull that right there in that Ziploc bag. And then I ain't gonna have to put in no milk, no egg, no nothing. I'm gonna just use the dampness of the fish. We're gonna coat it right here. Just shake it up there and make sure it's fully coated. We're gonna put it in the fryer here, y'all. Just like that, y'all. Fry it off there. A couple of more in here. Shake, 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 shake it. This already seasoned and everything, y'all. I ain't got to put no salt, no pepper, no nothing on it. Just put it right in my fryer. Of course, y'all can, of course, you can do this in a skillet. Y'all already know that already. You don't have a fryer. Ooh, you can smell the pepper in there. I'm about to sneeze, y'all. Let me say, you don't have to, everybody don't have a deep fryer, so... Yeah, do it old school style. Well, you know, I didn't grow up on no fryer either. Gonna dust it off there. And that's it. Gonna shake your fryer there. And that's it, y'all. We're gonna let these things do that. Do the, do, let the tilapia do its thing. We'll come back when I take them out. Then we'll get my grits in there. I cannot wait, y'all. I love y'all. don't know how I love Shrimp and grits and fish and grits. I just, it just goes so well together. Especially if you do them, cook them like I did in the milk and butter and put some cheddar cheese in. Mm, it takes it to the next level. You gotta try it. So, anyway, y'all, I'll be right back when the fish is almost ready. Be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. All right, y'all, the fish is ready. Look how pretty this is, y'all. Look at that pretty tilapia. What I do, y'all, y'all already know. Throw it on my sheet pan here with a rack. Look at that. Ooh, my God. Look how pretty that fish is. That's good eating there, y'all. Ooh, let it drain over. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna step off here, y'all. I'm gonna get my plate set up here, and I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna sample this off. I cannot wait, y'all. I love me some fried fish, love fried shrimp, and I can't tell y'all enough about these grits. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this here, y'all. Look at that. Tell me that ain't a plate. I ain't put no veggies. Don't be haters. You veggies, haters, say, oh, he don't know. I ain't eating no vegetables with this. All I'm eating my grits and my fish. Check that out, y'all. Only thing I'm gonna add is some of this Louisiana hot sauce. That's gonna be my veg. This hot sauce. Put some hot sauce on that fish. I'm telling y'all. Put some ketchup if you want to. Let me show y'all here. Look how crispy that fish is. Look how pretty and flaky it is, too, now. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. And the mix, the brain, it'll season good. Mmm. 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 Look at that. Mmm. Double hander. Look at that. Rice creamy grit. See that? Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Look at that. I hear it crunk. Mm, it's hot, too. Mm. Wow. It's definitely hot. You see how quick I put that meal together? Okay, if you want to put some, some uh, vegetables on here, you can. Look at that. Creamy grits, y'all. See how creamy they are? See that? Mm, mm, mm. Have a bite, y'all. Have a bite. Oh my God. I know that crimping, crimping grits and fishing grits, that's Louisiana. I'm telling you, I love you Louisiana people coming up with this. Look at that. I keep showing y'all because I love it. Mm. Grits is hot. But anyway, y'all, let me call this video out. If you like this video, before I go, two things I need to let y'all know or ask y'all. Please follow my TikTok channel. Please. I forget to say this a lot of times. I need to remind Dylan to remind me to say it before I close. Please follow my TikTok account. 
I'm gonna do be doing TikTok video with Dylan, TikTok video with Tyrone. Stuff you ain't gotta do with cooking. I'm telling y'all, go and follow it. Old school soul food, TikTok. Just like my channel, old school soul food. Please go follow that. Also, if you're not on Instagram, <coughs> I choked up here. Go follow me on Instagram. It's Mr. Old School Soul Food. Oh, you put old school soul food, I'll come up. I got 8,500 followers. Before the end of the year, I want to go over 10,000 followers on Instagram. So please go follow me on Instagram. Some pictures I put on Instagram, I don't put anywhere else. I don't put on Facebook. I don't put on YouTube, Twitter, nothing. So Instagram is where I just post random pictures. All of a sudden, I'm doing something. That's what Instagram really is for. Uh, so please go follow me on Instagram, Old School Soul Food. I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, 2022. That'll be y'all... Christmas present for me, so promote it, share it, or whatever. The TikTok, I don't think I got a couple of hundred on there. See if I can get a thousand before the end of the year. Like I said, I set myself goals, y'all. So please do that. So anyway, y'all, that's all I had to say. Um, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy blessed Friday. Happy weekend. I got all three awesome. The next three videos is absolutely awesome, y'all. Dylan, Tyrone, everybody going to be full. My neighbor, they going to be full this weekend. What I'm about to cook. So y'all stay tuned. Anyway, love y'all. Bye.